You can go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> well, praise God. Happy Sunday morning to you that are joining us by audio video. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. Bienvenidos y feliz domingo por la mañana a todos los que nos están escuchando por audio video. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. And never, never, never say, I, I tell you this all the time, I even help you out. Never say God has nothing for me. Mm -hmm. And never say God can never use me. Mm -hmm. Because he called you. The reason you're here is because he called you. Mm -hmm. And once you accepted him as Lord and Savior, I think last week we talked about, you know, hey, when I found God, <laughs> you got it mistaken. You got it wrong. He, You didn't find him. He found you. Yes. Okay, you he, that's the way it is. He was not lost. You were lost. Mm -hmm. Amen. So anyway, so from the, from now on, you know, I'm going to do my best for him. Yes. Amen. Because he did the best for me. So praise God. He's got something for you. And he called you and equipped you to fulfill whatever he called you to do. <laughs> don't let nobody stop you from fulfilling what God called you to do. Amen. I don't care who says what, who did what, or so-and-so said you're going to fulfill what God called you to do. You know why? Because you need to know the yeah. word. You need to know whose you are and who you are in him. When you get yeah. full of him, ain't nothing in hell going to stop you. That's right. <laughs> no enemy is going to stop you. Amen. And you see this, I don't know if you can see it, but we got a little sign up here that says we walk by what? Fear? No faith. We yeah. walk by faith. The more work you get in you, the more faith you have. So put your faith, put, put, some, put some faith on your step as, as you step out, you know. Step out in faith. The more words you have in you, the less fear you have. Yes. Fear, when you're full of faith, fear has to go. Yes. <laughs> Amen. And he's not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. Amen. Amen. So, child of God, why are you not moving? <laughs> why are you still waiting? Why well, I'm waiting on God. No, God's waiting on you. It's time to get up and let's get busy. And uh, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but uh, and uh, I, I'm not going to bring you a, a Christmas message. I'm going to bring you this message, closing out the old and opening the new. No. Amen. But we're about ready to close the old year and start a new year. Mm. Amen. So, guess what? Let's be on fire as we close the old, and let's be on fire when you, we open the new. Amen. The new year. And we can say that on, the, on a daily basis, too. As you let go of this one day, the next day, let's be on fire for him. And pressing on with new things. Yeah, but you don't know what I'm facing. <laughs> you don't know what I'm facing. Well, then get full of God and not yeah. be afraid. He's not giving us a spirit of fear. Amen. He wants us to step out in faith. You know, yes. as you spend time with Him, Amen. fill yourself. Amen. Fill yourself with Him. And, and, and step out in faith when you go and do whatever He's called you to do. Even if you're just going to work, going to the store, still... Lord, you know, just put yourself in his hands. Put yourself in, in where he's at and say, Lord, I'm going to step out in you. You know, just like David and Goliath. You know, well, you don't know what giants I face. Well, you don't know what giants I face. But still, greater one is in you than he that is in the world. Yes. Amen. So, prepare yourselves to receive. This is what he wants to do. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you. Don't be like the lady who walks up to the pastor and said, uh, you know, Pastor, I'm leaving because uh, nobody's paying attention. Well, don't bring that attitude, amen? Have an attitude of receiving because God has something for you. Have an attitude of saying, God has something for me. Or be bold enough to say like the lady with the issue of blood that says, hey, I'm going to touch him. I'm going to receive something. I'm not leaving anymore. I'm tired of this, you know? I'm going to receive something. God has something for me. That's the attitude to have. A determination, you know? Hallelujah. He's got something for me. Right. You are a somebody. Quit yes. letting the world and anybody else tell you you're nobody. That's right. Because you are somebody. I'm yeah. a child of God. And I'll tell you, if you don't like me saying Jesus, I'll just get up to you and say, Jesus, 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 Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> They're bold enough to tell you all these other things. Why are you not bold enough to say, hey, I'm a child of God. I'm, I love Jesus. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Praise God. He says, hey, well, the Christmas season's here, but you know what the reason for the, for the season is Jesus. Yeah, Christmas is great, but still, greater is Jesus. Yeah. Amen. So, praise God. Yeah. You got me excited. I'm excited now. I don't know about 
<laughs> if I too, but if, you, if you're not excited, it's time to get excited. <laughs> so closing out the old year, opening the new year. And you open it up with fire, open it up with bang. Says, hey, I'm excited. Open, mm -hmm. close out this day with a bang and open a new day with a bang. Yeah. On a daily basis, not just yeah. once a year. That's right. Amen. But daily. And let me, before I get <laughs> too far ahead, grab your sword, soldier of God. Amen. Remember yeah. I told you, you're a warrior for God, not a warrior. <laughs> you're a warrior for God. Amen. And the enemy is there. And you know, I've, you've heard it so many times. A part-time Christian cannot defeat a full-time devil. That's right. Amen. And uh, don't be a part-time Christian seeking a full-time God. Huh. Be a full-time Christian. Amen. You know, aren't you glad that uh, Jesus just didn't come and did a part-time job? Mm -hmm. He came and fulfilled, fulfilled his mission. Mm -hmm. And never, even if he thought about quitting, he never quit. That's right. Amen. He was a man. He, I'm sure he had some thoughts about you know, I won't pass this up. Forget about this. Just like we have thoughts. And where's the battlefield? The mind. And you have negative thoughts all the time. Except don't give voice to them. Just say, I delete that. Cancel that. I don't receive that. That's not for me. I'm a child of God. And know what the, what the Word of God says. So you can start doing what the Word of God says. And not what the, what the world says. And not what your mind says. Because the enemy is attacking your thought life. And you got to renew your mind with the word of God. Amen. So praise God. What does it say? This is, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus name. Amen. So mind. <laughs> quit thinking about football. Quit thinking about cowboys. <laughs> Right now, my mind is on receiving what God has for me. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's what you need to do on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Lord, you have something for me. Mm -hmm. So mind, be still. And I cancel everything else out of there. And it's going to stop. And it's going to listen to what God has for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, Pastor, you got a message. But you know what? I'll say it like this. I have a message that he has given me. Mm -hmm. And he's anointed me to give. Okay, so <laughs> if you're judging me. You got to get out of the flesh and get in the spirit and receive in the spirit. Because if all you're doing is, is judging me and say, well, you know, he don't dress right. He don't speak right. Uh, he says this. He says this. Whatever. If you're judging me, you're in the flesh. You got to get out of the flesh. Mm -hmm. I say, Lord, you've anointed that man of God and you're speaking through him. And I'm going to receive what he has for me because it's your voice coming out. Amen. Okay. I've told you that. I told you that, but too, too many of us <laughs> go and have the pastor for lunch. <laughs> After service, you can't wait to get into the car <laughs> or maybe out the door and say, did you hear what he said? Did you see what he's wearing? Did you see this? Did you see that? Guess what? You didn't even get what the message was. That's right. You didn't receive nothing. Well, and whose fault is it? It wasn't the messenger. <laughs> it's your fault. Because the word was out and you never partook. You never took. And you know what? I'm talking to some of you watching by, by audio. I'm watching some of you watching by video. Some of you know this already. It's you. Amen. Pastor, you're talking about me. Yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> but God has something for you. And you got to be bold enough to say, this is for me. Amen. So, you cannot start the next chapter of your life if you keep rereading the last one. You know what? We can't move on forward, and I'll share the text in a few in a few minutes. But you can't move forward if you keep repeating the past. Yeah. Amen. I got some slides I want to show you. Those of you who are by uh, watching my video, <laughs> you're gonna be blessed because you see it. But those of you that are on the audio, I'll read it for you. And I'll give you scripture so that you can write it down and you can go back and study this. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, praise God. Yes. Listen to this. Start every day, daily. Mm -hmm. Forgetting what's behind. Forgetting the past. Forgetting the yesterdays. Mm -hmm. Today has got enough worries of itself. Mm -hmm. Amen. By doing what? By being glad in the new day. What's the scripture says here? 
The slide says this. It's uh, Psalms 118.24. It says, This is the day which the Lord hath made. It says, We or I or you, put your name there, Jose, will rejoice and be glad in it. But you don't know. <laughs> Yesterday I couldn't rejoice because it was snowing here. Or it was too too cold out there. Or it was, you know, too hot out there. Or whatever circumstances, whatever you're going through, you don't know what I'm going through. It doesn't matter, it says, if he's your God and you're his child, he says, greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. He says, rejoice and be glad in him. You know, and we're going to be talking about uh, Paul. And Paul was locked up when he wrote a, a message to, well, he wrote two-thirds of the New Testament. But he was locked up, waiting to be crucified, to be executed. And still, he had an attitude of a winner, of a champion. Yeah. You know, getting the message out to the, to the people of God. Amen? And that's what we need to do on a daily basis. So, this is the day the Lord has made. I will, Jose will rejoice and be glad in it. He's given us a new day. This is the day God has made. Rejoice and be glad. Press on. And look forward <clears throat> what's coming up next. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to whatever God has for me. He's got new things for you. See that way. Don't say about, you know, what's, what's in the past, let it go. Amen. Just let it go. Let it be. And press on. And we're going to be seeing more of these things. So here's our text. Go one more. <clears throat> Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 through 14. I'll read it to you. In NIV. It says, not that I have already obtained all this or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. It says, 13 says, brethren and sisters, brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining forward to what is ahead. Amen. And 14 says, I... Scrap, just scratch over that eye and says, Jose, put your name there. Personalize your Bible. Amen. It's mine. I will, uh, says, I press towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me. God has called me. Scratch the me out and put your name there. Mm -hmm. Amen. God has called me heaven worth, heaven worth in Christ Jesus. Amen. This is awesome. You know what? <laughs> Paul was in jail when he wrote this. Mm. And this is what he said, you know, he could have been sad and just back and do nothing. Mm -hmm. And say, well, you know, hey, I was doing something for God and he, they stuck me in jail, so I ain't going to do it anymore. <laughs> Some of us need to get off of that. Mm. You know, well, I'm here because of God. Mm. Wherever you are, just like Jonah in the whale <laughs> or the, the big fish, <laughs> still, he says, you know what? I realize God wanted me to go to Nineveh. So, Lord, I'll do what you want me to do. Mm -hmm. Some of us get to a spot, you know, where, Lord, I'll do what you want me to do. Mm -hmm. Let's get, some of you know who I'm talking to, so it's time to get busy for God. Amen? Mm -hmm. So forget the past and look forward to what is ahead. And it says, I, 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 14, it says, I press on. Amen? Go to the next one. Well, this is a different translation, but it says, uh, take a risk, run the race, and you see the man running. <laughs> and you know, we've gone over this so many times, but still, if you're a runner, you don't run with all these weights on you. You don't run with heavy clothes on. Right. If you're a runner, you put some light clothes on. Mm -hmm. And God says, you're going to run this race for me. And you're my runner, so what I want you to do is cast all your cares, cast all your weights on me, because I care for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And some of us need to learn that and give it all to Him instead of trying to take it back. Mm -hmm. Amen. Give it all to Him. Cast it on Him. It's basically the same thing. Not that I've already obtained this or have already been uh, made perfect, but I, again, me, Jose, press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Amen. Brothers, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it but one thing I do forget about this past year <laughs> forget about the past oh, forgetting the past forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead mm -hmm. 
He wants you to move. He didn't put a reverse on you. <laughs> you can't go back. Have you ever read the scripture where it talks about the armor of God? Mm. And it's all about the front. Yeah. There's nothing in the back. That's right. So you can't turn around and run. <laughs> you can't quit. Okay? Mm. And you can't go backwards. You got to go forward. Mm. Okay? What is ahead? I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Keep going. There we go. It's the same thing. I'm just giving you some different characters so you can see. One thing, mm -hmm. what's it say? One thing I, I do. You do. You show yourself. One thing I do. I need to do this. <laughs> Forgetting those things which are behind mm -hmm. and reaching forth unto those things which are before me, not behind me. So mm -hmm. what I do, I press mm -hmm. towards the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. You need to see this as a high calling. Yes. And it, you're so special because he's called you. Mm -hmm. Don't put yourself down. Put you, Lift yourself up. Mm -hmm. Don't let nobody put you down. Yes, and you stop putting people down. Mm -hmm. It's easier to lift them up mm -hmm. than to put them down. Amen. So start doing that from now on. And that's Philippians chapter 3 verses 13 through 14. One more. There we go. <laughs> hey, you know, every every team, every professional team, every high school team, every college team, always we keep our eye on the prize. We keep our eye on the goal. This is what we want to accomplish by the end of the year. Yeah. Amen. And that's what we're going to accomplish in the things of God. We want to, by the end of the year, mature on a daily basis. Spiritual mature. Get in the word. Spending time with Him, having relationship, mm -hmm. so that we can grow more and mature more in Him. Mm -hmm. But you got to do something for yourself. Mm -hmm. You got to do it yourself, amen. Right. So keep your eye on the prize, amen. Keep going. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. So <laughs> there we go. <laughs> What's it say? No. no looking back, looking forward. You know, don't be like a lot's wife. You know, says, oh, don't turn around. Only one thing I tell you to do. Don't look back. Let this year go. So you didn't accomplish everything. That's okay. Put it on the new one. Mm -hmm. Amen. But don't look back. Just let it go. Mm -hmm. or whatever you're stepping away from, just let it go. And start pressing on with him. And you know, when he's with you, <laughs> no weapon from against you shall prosper. Amen. And when he's with you, you can fulfill and accomplish everything that you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. We didn't even got it on the first page. <laughs> <laughs> uh, start every day daily uh, praise and worshiping him setting your priorities right you know when you get before him when you have a relationship with him you get before him and you know just whatever you do lay down or, or lay down or, or kneel down or whatever you do to pray mm -hmm. but still get before him and get your priorities right with him mm -hmm. amen this is my priorities for today. Bible says in Matthew 6, 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, His righteousness, and all these other things shall be added unto you. So, yeah. get your priorities right. Rejoice and be glad in this new day He has given you. Yeah. Amen? When you start, when you when you begin to say, uh, you know, oh man, it's only Monday, you know. Uh, I've got so many things to do. Uh, and you start saying all these negative things and all these weights on you it's because you haven't given it to him mm -hmm. it's because you haven't spent time with him yeah. amen you, you got to let these go yeah. and spend time with him and say you no know, regardless of what's facing me lord i thank you that i can do all things through christ yeah. who strengthens me yeah. amen so one day at a time you know that's a beautiful song yeah. one day at a time not all week or all month, you know, but one day at a time, amen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rejoicing and being glad of this new day he's given you. And that's uh, Psalms 118, 24. Staying positive in a negative world. Mm -hmm. Staying positive in a negative world. You know how you stay positive in a neg negative world? Romans what? Romans 12, 2 says what? Renew your mind with the word of God. Because the enemy is going to attack the mind. And that's the main thing. That's the battlefield. Uh -huh. Amen. So in the mind, you can think positive or negative. So 
Renew your mind with the word of God and start thinking positive and not negative. Amen. If you, even if you think negative, don't do the negative. Mm -hmm. And don't speak it out. Once you give the word, you're sowing negative things. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to sow negative things. You want to sow positive things. Mm -hmm. You know, if you just thought about it, just say, delete. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just get rid of it. Delete, 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 delete. It's okay. But once you start confessing it with your mouth and giving voice to it, all that negative is bad because you're sowing seeds for yourself, not for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on now. Woo! Sowing positive, staying positive in a negative world. You turn the radio or you turn the, the TV on and that's all they're saying is negative things. Mm -hmm. Well, I got to keep up with all, all the things that's going on around. Oh. You don't have to. Oh, that's right. Just be positive in a negative world. You want to hear the negative things, you can turn it on if you want to. But Romans, if, you, if you're going to go to Romans 12, chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, read verse, verses 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. But it tells you, renew your mind with the yes. Word of God. Amen. Renew your mind with the Word of God. Have a winning attitude. Why not? Why have a bad attitude? Or why have a losing attitude? Amen. Have a positive attitude. If you're going to have an attitude, have a winning attitude. Yes. <laughs> have an attitude of gratitude. You say, Amen. Lord, on a daily basis, just get before Him. Amen. Or every time you think it, you know, just say, Lord, I just want to say thank you. Lord, I just want to say I love you. Mm -hmm. Lord, I just want to let you know I couldn't make it without you. Mm. It's okay to talk to Him. You know, he's your heavenly father. Talk to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Never, never, never. Pressing on. Remember we're talking about pressing on. Never on idle. Never on neutral. Mm -hmm. We have a drive mode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have a drive mode. You want to put it on drive and you want to press on with him. Amen. If you're going to drive on and if you're going to step out, don't leave without him. Yeah. <laughs> he says, he said, in Hebrews 13, 5, he says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Yeah. He's always with you. Yeah. We're the ones that walk away mm -hmm. like prodigal sons and daughters. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we don't need to walk away from him because he's always there. Yeah. We just need to say, wait a minute. I got to renew my priorities. Mm -hmm. I got to put him first. Get off the throne and mm -hmm. put him on the throne. Mm -hmm. Amen. And make him Lord of your life. Yes. Amen. And keep it that way. And keep those priorities uh, in order. Him first. No matter what, him first. Yes. <laughs> I like this one. Hot for God. <laughs> you can write that down somewhere. It says, hot for God. Not lukewarm and not cold. He says, I want you. Well, he says, I, I want you. He, he wants you uh, hot or cold, but not lukewarm. Don't say, well, you know, hey, I'm just going to straddle the fence. This is what the world says. Mm -hmm. This is what the word of God says. So I'm just going to be right in the middle. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to stay lukewarm. Mm -hmm. You know, we like it real comfy. <laughs> we like it easy. Mm -hmm. But no, he says, you know, I'd rather you be, I'd rather you be hot or you be cold. But don't go trying to please. You know, be a God pleaser and not a world pleaser. Because you're going to lose if you try to be a, a world pleaser. Revelation uh, 3, uh, 16 says this. Revelation chapter 3, verse 16. So then because you're lukewarm... And neither hot nor cold, he says, I will, <clears throat> uh -huh. some say spit, some, this one says, vomit you out of my mouth. Yeah, this yeah. is God talking. Yeah. He says, I'll vomit you out of my mouth. Oh, boy. Amen. So we can't serve two masters. We got to decide mm -hmm. which one. But you make sure you decide and pick the right one. Because uh, mm -hmm. this is you. Don't let nobody else pick for you. That's right. <laughs> You pick for yourself if you've never confessed Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Uh -huh. This is the time to say, <laughs> you know, hey, you want to give yourself an a early Christmas present? Uh. And say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And you know what? He will. <coughs> but you don't know, Pastor, what I've done. But you don't know what so-and-so says. These people said. That people said. Uh, he can't no longer use me. He can't no longer forgive me. Yes, he can. Yes, he will. Yes. Find out what the word of God says so the so and so's in the world mm -hmm. won't tell you anymore. Mm -hmm. You know for yourself. Mm -hmm. Find out for yourself what the word of God says. Yes. So start every day forgetting the past, letting go of past sins, letting go of past failures, setbacks, 
cares, anxieties, worries, lacks, bad habits, bad attitudes, negative attitudes. If I didn't put yours in there, you can fit yours in there. Just let it go. <laughs> Give it to them and let it go. Don't go back and, and, and take it back. Mm -hmm. I, I've, I've told you this before, you know, when you go, hey, you know, Friday, they pick up the trash. So you go dump all your, your trash in the dumpster. Well, I never see nobody go back and take the trash back. No, no. Well, if you give all your trash to God, he says, cast it all on me. Mm -hmm. Then leave it there. Mm -hmm. And whatever he's taken from you, don't go back and pick it up. That's right. Amen. Yeah, come on. That's good. Ah, praise God. Mm -hmm. Yesterday's gone. It's gone. Live for it today. Tomorrow, mañana, it never comes. See, I'll do it mañana. <laughs> well, guess what? <coughs> when mañana comes, it's today. Mm -hmm. So let's do it today. Quit putting it off. Now is the time. This yes. is the right time. Amen. Praise <laughs> God. Yeah, because mañana never, never comes. It's always the day. <clears throat> things to clean. Yeah. few things that we must do mm -hmm. to change. Amen. First, you've accepted Him as your Lord and Savior. Now what I need to do, things that I need to change. Of course, I've told you the Spirit uh the battlefield is the mind. Mm -hmm. And it's a spiritual battle that you fight. And you can't defeat a spiritual thing with the flesh right. physically. If it's a spirit, you can't defeat it with the flesh mm -hmm. physically. You have, you need the Word of God. Yes. You need the Word of God. If you don't have the Word of God, you're defeated already. But the Bible says that we fight no flesh and blood, the spiritual beings in high places. Mm -hmm. So we need him, we need him, and we need the word, he's always with us. So we need the word, when you confess the word, you're coming against these things in the name of Jesus, amen? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, spiritual battlefield, we must <clears throat> clean daily is our mind, renew our mind. You're, you, you know, we have a, a spirit, we're try being. We have a spirit. We have a soul, which is your mind, your will, and your emotions. And you have a physical body. Your spirit, you feed the word of God. Amen. And you mature in the things of God by reading his word. And you uh, renew your mind with the word of God. So this is what the world says. This is what so-and-so says. This is what everybody's saying. But this is what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. So you take what the Word of God is and renew your mind with the right things and not what the world says or worldly things mm -hmm. or what so-and-so says. Mm -hmm. Renew your mind with the Word of God. And you know what? <laughs> we haven't got there yet, but the flesh, the, the, the physical part of you, wants the easy way out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> easy so you know hey it's time to work out <laughs> well you know i'm sitting real nice and real comfy <laughs> and i'm not gonna get up and doing no exercises <laughs> so the flesh always wants to take the easy way out the comfy way out nice and easy well when you have the mature word of god in you physically in the spirit and you renew your mind and those two come against your flesh and they says you gonna get up and you're gonna work out mm -hmm. so you're gonna get up and you're gonna work out because the other two are coming against the lazy part of you <laughs> <laughs> the one that doesn't want to do anything mm -hmm. but also we need to do some spiritual workouts yes. and that's by getting in the Word of God and growing in the Word of God you don't want to stay uh, uh, a, a Christian or a baby Christian the rest of your life. Yes. You want to grow and mature in the yeah. things of God. Yeah. Why? Because he has these assignments for you. Mm -hmm. And you know, hey, uh, we, uh, we learned it this way. You know, when you climb a ladder one step at a time, different levels, different devils. Mm -hmm. And they have, they have, um, they, they have levels. And the higher you go, the stronger they get. Mm. Amen. And you know, um, I don't know if anybody ever told you this, but you know, you never read in the Bible where it says the devils were fighting each other. No, no. 
you know but you always hear in the body of Christ in the church they were fighting each other mm -hmm. peoples we fight against each other mm -hmm. in the in, in in the ranks of uh, of uh, you know where, where you talked about the legion came and, and came up to Jesus mm -hmm. he says who are you he says legion he says why he says because there are many mm -hmm. he said he cast out a word two thousand out of the one person mm -hmm. but you know what there was two thousand in there but they never fought against each other mm -hmm. And this we're talking about the evil realms here mm -hmm. but in this in in god's in the church we're always fighting each other no. we separate each other we divide each other we don't want care and get along mm -hmm. we need to get along mm -hmm. we need to have unity and just like this physical body all these parts we have mm -hmm. is one body but many parts mm -hmm. and all these parts work in unity we need to do the same thing in the body of christ mm -hmm. we need to work together you know it's not Catholics against uh, 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 Pentecostals, or evangel I mean uh, Episcopals against Presbyterians. We separated ourselves. Mm -hmm. We need to come together and be <coughs> together in unity and, and attack the enemy because yes. that's the enemy. That's the one that's coming against us. Give yourself a spiritual bath. That's re uh, cleaning your mind. Give yourself a spiritual bath. Cleaning anything that tries to attach itself to you. I've told you this many times, but you drive from here to Alpine and back, or you drive from here for anywhere, and you come back, and you gotta wash your car again because why? Because you got bugs all over your place, all over your car. You got things attach themselves to your car all over the place, and I like to keep my cars clean. So guess what? When you go out in the world, <laughs> in the spirit realm, <laughs> all these things are gonna try to attach themselves to you. So you got to give yourself a spiritual bath all the time. I cleanse myself with the Word of God. I cleanse myself in the things of God, in the, in the Word of God. Amen. Give yourself a spiritual bath all the, I mean spiritual bath all the time. Cleanse yourself. Clean yourself. The Lord, clean us. And don't take back what is detached from you. <laughs> Whatever He takes from you, let it go. <laughs> he has forgiven and forgotten us. Don't hold on to the past. And you know, the enemy and people <laughs> are going to come up to you and say, mm -hmm. he didn't forgive you. Mm -hmm. You know, he's real good at holding these things against you and say, you know what? He forgave so-and-so and he forgave that person, but he's not going to forgive you. Mm -hmm. And it's going to come, uh, where's he attacking? He's attacking the mind. Mm -hmm. He says, he didn't forgive you. He's not going to forgive you. So you know what you say? It's just, hey, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. All my sins, all my charges have been dropped. I gave them to Jesus and he took them. So if you got problems with it, you go talk to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know he's not going to go. <laughs> nope. So stop remembering what God has already forgiven and forgotten. That's it. Just stop. But it's going to come. And people are going to hold it up to you. And families are, are going to hold it up to you. Mm -hmm. Happens to me all the time. Mm -hmm. Hey, I know where you come from. I know you. You're nobody. They're going to do this all the time. So you got to be strong enough to say, I'm a child of God, mm -hmm. and I am a somebody. And you don't have to put yourself down. That's it. Come on. Mm -hmm. Psalms 103 and 12 says, As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgression from us. As far as the east is from the west, guess what? That's infinite. Yes. Infinite, it means unmeasurable, mm. endless, mm -hmm. boundless, countless, yes. unlimited. That's how far the east is from the west. Mm -hmm. They never meet. They never touch. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So anyway, whatever transgressions you have, sins, disobedience, wrongdoings, misbehaviors, he's going to forgive you. He's going to forgive you and forget it. Mm -hmm. So don't bring it up again. That's it. And don't let people, even if they bring it up, or the enemy puts the thoughts in your mind and says that, mm -hmm. he's already forgiven it. So I'm not going there anymore. And quit going there and quit answering that door. Right. <laughs> and don't answer that door anymore. When you stop answering the door, there's nobody, nobody going to be there. Amen? So praise God. Mm -hmm. Woo! So we enter the new year with new opportunities, mm -hmm. with new assignments, yes. with new beginnings, yes. with new attitude. Amen? 
and say, well, you know, I, I never accomplished the things I wanted to do back then. And you, st you start singing that negative song, you know, and you start singing the blues and you start going back and back and back and back. Pretty soon it's, well, if I didn't do it then, I know I'm not going to do it this year. <laughs> and you're just coming against yourself. Remember I told you, that person in front of you, in front of that mirror, that's your biggest problem. You got to mm -hmm. change that. Yeah. You got to say, wait a minute, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You can. You got to have, you got to be strong enough, spirit strong enough to yeah. say, I can do all things through Christ. Amen. And put the negative behind you. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. So, fresh start. Yeah. I like that. Everybody say that. Fresh start. Fresh start. <laughs> all things we can accomplish. Mm -hmm. Personalities. Better health, better business, new goals. Mm -hmm. Amen. Spiritually, how, what can I do spiritually? Mature in the Word of God. Mature. Yes. Maturity. Oh, that's, sure. that's what I can do all, uh -huh. uh, spiritually. Is mature in the things of God. Or, or you could say grow in the things of God. Yeah. Amen. Get in the Word. Open it. Remember? You keep saying God never talks to me. Well, once in a while, you go pick it up. <laughs> Daily, hopefully, you pick it up and read it. Start. He'll be there for you. He'll be there for you. He wants to talk with you, but you're not. You're not. You're not opening yourself. Be stronger. A stronger commitment. What to God? Lord, I want to serve. I want to serve. I want to be with you. I want to serve you. Strong commitment to wherever you go to church. Let your pastors know, Pastor. I want to be available, and you can use me, and you can count on me. Come on now. In serving, wherever you serve, God, Jesus came to serve, not to be served. And he showed us. So you could do the same thing. I'm here to serve, Lord. Whatever you want me to do on a daily basis, I'll do for you. It's time that you start rising up. Start rising up and be the original he created you to be, not just copying something Amen. of the world, you know, that you're not qualified to do. Yeah. He's already qualified you. Quit waiting for the world to approve you and qualify you when Jesus already qualified you and qualified you and equipped you. And then he says, I'm gonna, I'm calling you to go and fulfill what I've called you to do. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. So don't let the enemy, you can write this. <laughs> don't let the enemy, don't let enemy is devil. <laughs> Bible talks about the enemy. He's talking about devil. He's talking uh -huh. about people. Okay. Let, don't let the enemy, people, distractions, things, excuses, hold you back. Yeah. The only thing holding you back is yourself. Uh -huh. Because you disqualified yourself and you keep telling yourself, I'm not good enough. I'm a nobody. When you keep talking that way, nobody can change you except you get a relationship with God and you start letting the Word of God change you. Yeah. Be changeable. Yeah. Be changeable and be flexible and be be used of God. He says, you know, I'm not looking for perfect people. He says, I'm looking for available people. Are you available? Are you making yourself available? If you're not making yourself available, you're disqualifying yourself. Yeah. I'm not good enough. He says, you're good enough. Yeah. I put in you what you need. Yeah. Now it's time for us to say, Lord, here I am, use me. And he says, good. Now it's time to Stay full of the word and step out in faith. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. So I'll close with this. Anybody say it? Amen. 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 <laughs> Glory. <laughs> Some of you, that's the first time you said amen, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Amen. <clears throat> One of the first things we learn is, is when we come to church, eh? <laughs> amen. Amen. <laughs> So this is what we do on a daily basis. On a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Not yearly, not monthly, mm -hmm. but on a daily basis. Yeah. Forgetting the past. Yeah. Forgetting yesterdays. Yeah. Okay? And pressing on. Uh -huh. Just like just like uh, well, I like this one too. Philippians 4 13 says what? I can do some things. Oh, all, all things. things. Oh, all things. <laughs> I can do yeah. all things. Through Christ who strengthens me. Uh -huh. But you can't do that. God says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Uh -huh. He's going to give me what I need to do. Yeah. I can do all things. Go back one time. 
Here we go. Mm -hmm. Forgetting the past. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to forget the past? No looking back. Mm -hmm. Looking forward. Mm -hmm. I'm pressing on. Hey, that was yesterday. It's gone. Thank you, Lord. You're forgiven, and he's, he's forgiven you and forgotten about it. So you need to do the same. Amen. So the enemy and people cannot hold that against you in their life. It's time for you to just press on. He's wanting you to press on. Amen. He made us to drive on, to press on and not go back. So praise God. We're going to hold there and we'll continue uh, next week on this. And we'll talk about the Apostle Paul and what he did and what he wrote to us. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, that you have uh, blessed us. With your word, Lord, and change us, Lord, and thank you for that. We're going to continue to press on with you, Lord, and we can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Thank you, and uh, help help us this new year to be more be more available for you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So, if uh, if you're watching and you're already listening, and you still want to give your time, the offers, you still can go to our website. NBCBigBen.com, the donate button there. And if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And we want to say God bless you and thank you. Praise God. Amen. So praise God. Uh, if uh, you need a touch of healing, the word of God says, lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Amen. It says you shall recover. Yeah. All you got to do is in faith, yeah. touch that part of your body yeah. and it's a touch of healing. Amen. And just say, by Jesus Christ, I am healed. Yeah. So body line up with the word of God and receive your healing right now in Jesus' name. Praise God. Amen. So, amen. I'm excited. I don't know about you. And I'm ready for next week. I'm ready for every day. Be ready for every day. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you. Praise amen. God. Thank you, Jesus.